it's Rose, uh, Rosemary Fit on Instagram, and I just want to do a quick video about one of the most common questions that I receive in my inbox on Instagram. If you're not familiar with me, I had gastric sleeve surgery December 15th, 2015. And my highest weight was 255 pounds. I'm five foot two, and my current weight is around 176. And I will um, pause the video now and show you some before and current pictures, just so you have an idea of where I started and where I'm at. So um, as far as this question, people write me and they're like, should I do it? And I don't want to make that choice for you. I don't live in your body. You live in your body. You know what's best for you. But I wanted to kind of um, go over a few things that you may want to consider when you are trying to make the decision to pursue bariatric surgery to see if um, maybe it's it's the answer for you. Now, I'm not a doctor. Obviously, um, this is a medical procedure. It's a major surgery. And this is a decision that you shouldn't take lightly and that you should make with your doctor. So, but I want to give you kind of like a few little things. Should I have weight loss surgery? One question you might want to ask yourself um, when you're trying to decide whether or not you should pursue bariatric surgery is um, how long have you been overweight? If you've been overweight for a really, really long time, then odds are you're probably going to stay overweight for a really long time. I don't mean that to be ugly but your struggle, you've been struggling for a long time basically and um, the struggle you're going to continue to struggle on your own. For me personally, I was overweight as a preteen and then in high school I, in a way, I kind of starved myself down to a reasonable weight and then my weight just slowly kept creeping up throughout my 20s and finally I hit my 30s, my early 30s and I was like, okay, something's got to give. I've been struggling with my weight. I've tried so many different things. It's time. This is my last resort. So that was a big factor in my decision to have bariatric surgery was the fact that I've been overweight for so long. Um, another thing you might want to ask yourself is, why are you overweight? And I know that seems kind of like weird to ask, well, I'm overweight because I like food or I have a medical condition or whatever. But you'll want to ask yourself why you are overweight. Is it because of the types of foods that you eat? Or is it because of the volume of food you eat? Or are you a grazer? Do you literally eat all day long? And the reason why I bring that up is because Bariatric surgery is a restrictive surgery, meaning you can only eat a certain amount of food in, at one time. Bariatric surgery does not stop you from grazing all day long. And so, if you're a grazer, you're really going to have to come to terms with your addiction to grazing and snacking all day and you're going to have to make some major changes. If the reason why you're overweight is because you're never full and you just eat a lot of food in one sitting, then you it, but you don't really snack, then you may have an easier time with it because with the bariatric surgery you can only eat maybe uh, like a year out, year and a half out where I am now, three quarters to a cup of food in one sitting. And so if you're used to eating uh, a football size, you know, plate of food, then your, your sleeve or your pouch, it's, it's going to stop you. So keep that in mind.
Um, another thing, and I'm looking at my notes here, um, are you a compliant patient? Are you a compliant person? Which means, when the doctor tells you to do something, do you do it? Because if you're not compliant, you're not going to be successful. Or you'll be, you'll experience a little success, but then it's going to catch up to you if you're not compliant. This surgery is a lot more than going into the operating room, having a part of your stomach removed, and then just, you know, becoming skinny and that's the end of the story. No. Um, you have to constantly be mindful of the basics. What are the basics? Protein first, veggies second, then your starches, if you have room, drinking plenty of water per day, and I'm not talking about sodas and juices and drinks like that. No, I'm talking about water or if you don't like water, any kind of like sugar-free beverage of your choice. And non-carbonated. Carbonation is not good for people that have tiny tummies because the gas is just, it's very uncomfortable. Um, so you have your eating, your water, your vitamins. I've seen people have issues with vitamin deficiency because they weren't compliant in taking their vitamins. You're probably going to have to take vitamins for life and I suggest it anyway. Vitamins are good for you. So protein, water, vitamins, exercise. Exercise. If you're not willing to at least just go walk every single day if you're not compliant with that you're probably gonna run into some issues I'm just saying so think about that are you a compliant patient if you are not can you become one learn how to follow directions okay next one is what else have you tried to lose weight if you've been overweight for a long time and you've never tried anything why would you jump straight into surgery? Unless, of course, you and your doctor decide that it's like a life or death situation and you've got to do something right now. Okay, that's different. But, you know, if you're maybe 100 pounds overweight and you've never tried to, you know, curb your eating or exercise before and all of a sudden you want to jump in for a quick fix of bariatric surgery, you're going to be sorely mistaken. You really should think about this before you do it. It is a major life change. So for me, I tried every diet you can think of under the sun and I just I couldn't stick to it long enough because I was relying too much on willpower. I was always hungry. I always wanted to eat. Food consumed every thought of my day. So with all the diets that I tried, I tried Jenny Craig, I tried Weight Watchers, I had some success on a low carb diet, but I kind of stalled out and I got discouraged and I quit. Think about it. Oh, and I've had like two personal trainers in my life. So think about what you've already done. Try it. Try to lose weight on your own if you haven't already done it. Because you could be one of those people that is successful without surgery. Surgery is not the end-all be-all in weight loss. There are plenty of people that lose massive amounts of weight without surgery. Okay? So surgery should be thought of, unless it's a life or death situation, as a last resort. I know it was my last resort. I couldn't take it anymore. So, and I tried all these other things. So just consider that. The next thing is, the next question that I want you to ask yourself is, are you prepared to work? If the answer is no, then mm, do you want it bad enough? How bad do you want to lose weight? Do you just want to go to the hospital, get your surgery, and then just magically lose it? Because I'm going to tell you right now, and as I said before, 
bariatric surgery requires compliance and it requires work. You need to learn how to eliminate distractions from your life while you're going through this process. And let me tell you, and I'm not even at maintenance yet, but once you hit maintenance, like it doesn't stop, okay? You have to keep going. And granted, some people hit the weight, their goal weight on the scale, and they're like, okay, you know, I think I'm done. I lost the weight I wanted to lose. I'm going to move on with my life. And I hate to say it, but those are the people that slowly a pound here, a pound there, the weight creeps back on. So you need, it's, it's going to be a lifestyle, and you're going to have to completely change your relationship with food and completely change your ideas about exercise and eating out and meal prepping. You're going to have to learn to love that stuff if you want to be successful okay so that's all I have for now uh, I really want you to think about these questions that I propose that you ask yourself um, and then another question I get all the time is is it worth it absolutely no absolutely it is worth it it is absolutely worth it I wish that I would have done it sooner but everybody's journey is different and my journey started when I was 31 so that's just how it is and I'm happy I did it and I'm thankful every single day for my surgeon and the sleeve and I look forward to motivating and inspiring other people if you don't already, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting food and inspirational pictures before and afters. And I try to get back to all my questions. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.